Hey everyone, welcome back. We got a new video that kind of catches the uh, the season. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna create a pumpkin, a 3D model pumpkin that we're going to uh, put a facial expression on, and then we're going to print it in 3D, and we'll so we'll print it in um, sandstone, and uh, so that way you'll have something for the holidays. So uh, it's going to be a pretty simple shape um, and uh, we can uh, make it kind of our own. You'll be able to either follow me or kind of put your own expressions into it. So let's get started. So the first thing you do is start up your new uh, Tinkercad um, file and then let's go and under properties and let's give it a proper name. So let's go uh, pumpkin and save our changes so now let's uh, figure out what we're gonna do so I'm gonna grab the torus okay drag that out All right, and we're going to make this quite a bit bigger so let's uh, grab the corner hold the shift key here left mouse button and drag and let's see how that looks might be that might be a little too fat so let's take a look go on the inside dial one ninety there we go ninety degrees might want to go with the skinnier torus. Let's try that one. No, maybe we'll stick with this one. So let's delete this. Let's make it bigger. that okay now let's uh, get in the spirit of things let's change it to a pumpkiny orange uh, maybe a little no nope, that was good go all right now let's look at some reference so I'm Sure, you guys remember if you watched some of the other videos. I'm very big on reference, so let's uh, uh, create another window and let's type in on Google search um, jack o' lanterns. And enter. And let's go to images. If you go pumpkins, you're just going to see pumpkins, but we, we want a little inspiration, some reference. So what we want to do is we want to try and get this, this ribbed shapes that help create the pump, give the pumpkin its iconic look. So right here, so we get these ribbed lines in between. But we also want it to be kind of sphere-like, but we also want to be able to get, get this little divot here which is where the uh, the stock grows out so but we also want to make this hollow so we're going to um, take that keep that in mind because the idea is we can make it hollow we might be able once we print it we might be able to make it so that you could put a little a little tea light inside of it to uh, give it a um, give it a little glow from the inside so uh, Okay, this looks good. I like this. So let's see if we can go that direction. We'll go back. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this. So edit, duplicate. And then we're going to use our arrow key. And we're going to separate that out. Let's see. Looks pretty good. 
good. Just a little more. Just want to make sure that divot is there. Okay. All right. Now let's uh, group this. So select marquee select both and you hit collect group. And then next thing I want to do is eventually I want this to be hollow. So what we want to do is while we can right now let's create a sphere. Okay. Drag this out and let's make this significantly bigger. Okay. And then let's uh let's align these two. So go so marquee select both of them, go under adjust, align, and we want these aligned this way and this way. And this way. Okay. Great. And I know this looks weird, but trust me. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to make this bigger. And then I want to squash it down a little bit. And then again, shift select the left key. Okay, and then let's uh, again let's align it, adjust, align. Oh, we want it aligned this way and this way. Okay. Oh, let's just need to make it just a little bit bigger. So we'll select off and reselect the sphere just a little more. So we don't want it. We don't want it too thick on the inside the walls too thick. All right. Maybe just a tad more, a skosh. Okay. So marquee select all of it and adjust align. There we go. And let's just to be sure let's select it this way. There we go. Good. That is good. Okay. Now, let's just move them both into the middle. Okay. Now, this is where it gets fun. So you're going to select this piece right here. And we're going to go Edit, Duplicate, and then we're going to rotate it on the inside dial just like that okay so now what should happen is it's going to remember what we did and it should make another duplicate but it'll also add the rotation in so let's see so you go edit duplicate again aha uh -huh. see is that a cool little trick so let's do it again and again and again and again and let's see one more time there we go and we have just roughed in our basic pumpkin okay so in the next video we will uh, hollow out our pumpkin thanks for watching and if you like what you see and you want to see more don't forget to subscribe